Hey y'all, it's Rita May, and I'm coming on today because I did my first shampoo and retwist, y'all, and I'm feeling real good about it. Um, it went pretty easy for the most part, um, and I feel like I'm in the game. I feel like I'm all the way in the game now, um, and hair is feeling and looking cool, y'all. So, um, this is what it's looking like. I do have it pent up a little bit because I did the middle part and because it's like kind of flat I feel like my head looks real big so I kind of pent it back um let me take it down but yeah I had put it in the middle part this time um but this is what it's looking like It's feeling good. It's lightweight. I have a lot of buds going on. Do y'all see that there? Yes. It's like all over. First shampoo. I am two weeks and... I am two weeks and... Um, let me see. Two weeks and three days in, and my roots were separating, um, were unraveling a lot because when I first did my comb cord, you know, I didn't do it the tightest. So, um, this time around, I kind of went in and palm rolled it, so it's up in there now. So, I should be able to make it three weeks until I do my next shampoo and retwist, hopefully. So, we'll see how it goes, but. I'm definitely not like any skinny roots, but see that was all that had came unraveled. And you can see what's trying to form here is what stayed together in the comb coil. So yeah, if I can get the roots to stay together, I will have a lot going on. I think with my hair like really soon, you know? Yeah, because it's really progressing really, really well. Um, as you see, it's shrinking up and doing its thing, you know. Um, so, I shampooed my hair with the VO5 Clean Fine Shampoo. I did shoot two shampoos with that. I didn't do anything um, too different. I just went in and shampooed my hair. Um, and then after that, I put my hair into three sections. I found my middle part. And then I um, put the two sides into um, a section. And then I did the started working on the back section. Um, I sprayed in some leave-in conditioner because I'm not going to use any creamy conditioner on my hair on a regular basis i know i probably use them sometimes but i don't think i use them on a regular basis but when that time comes i get there um, but right now i'm just using a leave-in conditioner and i'm using the ion moisture miracle leave-in conditioner here i really like this leave-in conditioner you can find it at sally beauty and then as far as to retwist I decided to do something a little different. Um, I started using this product on my Lux Natural Hair and um, I really liked it so I decided to try it on my Lux. And it is the Texture ID Texture Multi Styling Foam here. And I really, really like this for my twist outs and my wash and goes. So I decided to give it a try to um, retwist my hair and I love it. So I would definitely be using this over gel or creams to retwist my hair. My hair is low porosity, and when I tell you guys, 
it will get built up really quickly. Um, and because I am doing my own hair, I can't really get in here to see like I would be able to on somebody else's hair if a product is getting built up or how to clarify it deeply or to be able to get in and get out certain things. So with me doing my own hair, I feel like this is a little bit safer. Um, it washes out a lot easier and I feel a little bit better using this. And then I love the results that it gave me. Um, not a tight, tight hold, but just enough, a nice, soft retwist. I don't need it to be crispy. You know, I just need it to get my hairs in place. You know what I'm saying? I don't need my scalp to be like popping out. You know, I already feel like a bald head chicken right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that was it. I used this. I kept my spray ball handy um, just to keep my um, hair moist while I was twisting. I used my um, clips here, the metal um, double prong clips here. And afterwards, I tied my and after I just tied my hair with some um, wrap junior strips just around the front to keep my edges laid a little bit. And I decided I do want the laid edges look. Um, I think I'm going to rock with that during this journey. So, um, yeah, that is what I did. I sat under the dryer. Um, I use my bonnet, soft bonnet dryer. I sat in there for like 30 minutes and I air dry for about four or five hours or so maybe. And then um, took the clips out then I oiled my hair. Um, I used this Indian almond oil but I mixed some olive oil and sweet almond oil in here. So this is now a mixture of oil. I just want to loosen it up a little bit because that Indian almond oil was a little bit thick so I just wanted to loosen it up and add my olive oil, which I know my hair loves, and sweet almond oil, which my hair loves as well. And I just um, put my bonnet on. Um, now I'm also tying a small thin scarf around my edges first and then put my bonnet on just so it can keep my edges nice and smooth. Um, and then for my edges, I have been using y'all this Lusty's um, Edge Gel. You can get from the Dollar Tree. This is bomb. I like it. It don't hold all day crispy crunchy, but a nice soft hold for my edges. It doesn't build up, flake up, white up, gunk up. Dollar Tree. I like it, y'all. So that's what I've been using for my edges. And that is it. And I'm very impressed with this first shampoo and retwist. And I'm just looking forward to um the months to come um two weeks and three days in um i'll be coming back and checking in um and letting you guys know how long this retwist lasts and how everything going so i will talk to y'all later all right bye